With the easing of the lockdown, many people hit the city streets every morning for various reasons including trading and shopping. Many of the places are no longer very vigilant with checking those that come in like it were the case after the terror attacks in 2010. With the COVID-19 pandemic breaking out, the focus has since shifted to preventing further spread of the disease. Consequently, some of the people visiting these places feel quite insecure. Police uh, can enter with any gadget. For example, you can enter with a knife. There is nothing to do with like kind of being being conscious with other things. The consciousness is only about COVID-19. Security experts warn that this is a loophole that can be exploited by the wrong elements. Now, during this time, anything can enter. Any threat, someone can easily enter a building with a bomb can enter any place because the, the, the private security officials who are there have forgotten the traditional threats of security, okay, that the, the, of terrorism or whatever, they are, they are mining about COVID, which is dangerous. He says there is need to reorient the private security personnel. They should do, uh, encourage having two systems on a building. The health system, those who are mining about COVID because it is a threat, to our lives, but they should also mind about the traditional threats like the bombs and whatever. The police are equally concerned about this state of affairs. We are a bit concerned and uh, that's why we are now taking it seriously. However, he says efforts are underway to have this addressed. So we are going to combine and teach them and sensitize them on the original checking combined with COVID-19 checking. So it is just re-energizing them and teaching them that, yes, there is still this threat of security that we need to guard against. With the existing gaps witnessed, it is evident that as we struggle to contain the spread of COVID-19 in the country, focus should not be lost on containing other security threats. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV.